five pounds of clay, white clay, stoneware, white stoneware. I'm going to make a first a shell bowl. And I want to keep the, the surface uh, pretty consistently round, the inside surface. Uh, five pounds of clay should make a, a reasonable size solid bowl, whatever. Make sure the bottom is compressed. And that's about the general shape. We'll enlarge that. Raise this up a little bit. And we'll still want to maintain that nice, easy curve out. I don't want a little dip in there. Let's do another. another pull and I'm really after pretty pretty classic shape Looks like I could have a little more bottom there I'll leave a little extra thickness on the the rim that's just for the utility of it. The wall is a little thinner. And then to uh, use one of my tools to skim off a little excess on the bottom. We'll go back and make sure it's straight. What I'll do now, and that I still don't have that nice curve that I want, just with my, my pulling. I'll take a rib. This is a pretty big rib, but you can use whatever you have, uh, or whatever you like. And I will come across straight across the bottom, pull it out. So I'm getting a nice, even... edge to my bowl and I may even use a smaller rib to make it a little bit smaller or a little bit smoother I'm sorry and I really don't want a break between the bottom and the wall I want it to be smooth
Now all of this leads up to okay, that's reasonable. All of this leads up to how am I going to glaze this? And I'm not sure what to call this. Uh, I'd like to call it Remember when I was growing up where we used to, the, the kids used to have something called spin art. Uh, I'll smooth my outer rim here just to give it that nice smooth finish. And then the next step is to add glaze to this. Now I'm going to pause a minute. I'll wipe my hands off, but I've got some, uh, just some of my ba base glaze. This is white slip with some cobalt. This is uh, uh, just a uh, regular Gershley borate glaze base that I use. It's got 10% cobalt. Uh, this is half blue and half green, so it would be uh, cobalt, copper oxide. And I have some white slip with some zir zircle packs in it. And those are the ones that I will use to color this. So we'll pause for a minute and I'll get back to you when I'm ready to do that. Okay, I've set this up in a little closer shot here. We're uh, same pot. Here it is. It hadn't really dried any. It's just it's 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 just uh, it's only been five minutes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my uh, my base, some of my glazes. Uh, I'll take some first. Uh, I think I'll take some of my uh, slip, which is white clay, and uh, with some uh, cobalt carbonate, and I'm going to literally take and just put a puddle in the middle of my uh, of my pot. I'm going to wet my hands. And I'm going to try to confine that, that puddle to the middle so I get a nice consistent outside to that. I've speeded up my wheel just a little bit and let me stop it so you can see. So it's kind of in the middle now. Now I'm going to take my hand, my, my finger in the middle and I'm going to increase the speed of my wheel and I'm going to move my fingers out. And as I increase, the speed, you see I, I start to get a movement of, of the glaze. I don't like that. This is the good part about this. Because I've, evidently it's the slip is thicker than I want it to be. So I'm literally going to wipe off most of this. And I really don't have to wipe off all of it because it adds to the character of the walls that, that I have. And it'll be pretty consistent in its color, but it'll be smooth now. And I think what I'm going to do now is just switch to my blue glaze base that I'm, my, my glaze that I use. It's a little skinnier. I probably could have achieve the same thing by skinning down my uh, my slip base a little more but now watch what happens I can actually feel it flying off the edge of the bowl see what happens if I want to add some some white which usually gives me a good contrast. I like to shake this stuff up. I like to start in the middle. And I'll just start with a little. This is pretty skinny, even though this is a white slip base. Uh, it's, it's skinny down. I'll center it first, like this. Try to confine it. And then I'll speed it up pretty, pretty fast. And then we'll see what happens. Who see? It followed some of those original streaks up, and it, and it went all the way up. So now I've got a white stoneware clay 
I've done my spin art. I literally have a little finger configuration there. I can leave the edge at, like that if I want, or I can take a moist sponge and I can wipe the edge, hold it for a little bit, come off easy, and, and I've created a hard edge here, which gets a good thing. I have to be careful not to neglect the edge because when it's spun off all ago, I said the, uh, the glaze spun off, I literally could feel it uh, spinning on. Of course, I have no, I have, my legs are bare now. Uh, so I have to make sure it's not on the side. Now, if I want things on the side, I could band it if I wanted to, but uh, that becomes my, my finished piece and uh, turns out pretty interesting. Uh, let me let me cut this off. I'll take it off the bat. Uh, I'll take the bat off. Okay. And I'm finished. I don't know what to call it. I like to call it spin art, but uh, it's pretty unique. I'm sure there's nothing new in the world, but it's something I discovered trying to coat the inside of my pots uh, evenly by putting a little glaze inside and spinning. I just wanted to cover the whole thing inside and I got a little bit too much and it ran down. Uh, it gave me some excellent designs. So just like to share that. Uh, I'll do a little video of this and I may add some other finished pieces that I've done on this so you can see what the finished pieces are like. And maybe even this one uh, after it gets finished. So there you are. These first pieces are just leather hard pieces that I've taken off. They're dried, but you can see the effect is there. And these last two shots are some of, some of the finished work. And you see they're all a little different, so you get a unique piece as you go. So uh, uh, I've enjoyed doing these, so I just thought I'd share them with you.